Why did I give the book Raising Global Nomads a subtitle of Parenting Abroad in an On-Demand World? Because I wanted parents who were going to read it to know that I was going to be talking about their issues as much as their children's issues and challenges so that they would see how their issues impact on the raising of their children. Parenting abroad absolutely means, okay, we're talking about you parents, so brace yourselves because a lot of parents in my lectures would look so shocked like I thought we were here to here to hear about our kids. Uh, but on-demand world was another key phrase. On-demand world was a recognition that life had changed in the new millennium and that there were new issues that were coming on board that were impacting on the expat family dramatically. I'm talking about technology and everybody's ability to shut each other out uh, by being on a Blackberry, an iPod, a cell phone, you name it. And also it was creating a world in which everybody was expected to work 24-7 and that included the father or the, the, the working person in the family that was moved abroad. Suddenly the family dynamics were going to be changed dramatically because of technology. That's the on-demand world. And the third reason was because technology and, and the whole digital age, while being a fantastic boon for expatriates, has also meant that certain pieces of the expatriate experience, the overseas moving experience, has changed. And I can give you a perfect example of that when I talk about culture shock in the digital age. For example, culture shock used to be you had a honeymoon, which I always said I skipped and went straight to the second stage, the crisis. Uh, honeymoon, crisis, flight stage, and then reconciliation. You got over it, everything went on. With the digital world, the culture shock stage has been lengthened because there's a false sense of connection with people back home, people around the world. I've met women, and I'm not kidding, I've met women who go, oh, I'm having a great time adjusting here. The kids, everybody's fine. I said, you know what? You do realize you're still in your bathrobe, right? You haven't left home. Oh, excuse me, you must have because you've got a Starbucks sitting there by your computer. But you have a false sense of connection. And I really want to stress to people, and this is why I chose the title, I really wanted to stress to people, why are you going to move abroad if you're going to spend all your time using all your technology toys and not learn about the local culture. There would be such disappointment when families would move home to realize, well, we've just been abroad for three years, but I couldn't tell you what that country looked like because I was on my computer all the time. So we're going to talk about raising global nomads, but parenting abroad in an on-demand, a digital 24-7 world.